G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to talk about why you should never park your regular car next to an EV. One of the big problems with the battery systems that they use in electric vehicles is that they are um, lithium iron. I don't know if you've ever seen videos of what happens when you puncture a lithium iron battery. It goes up with an extraordinary violent reaction. One of the major problems with this is that you can't put these fires out in the same way that you can a traditional wood fire or any other kind of fire. The reason for that is because within the battery itself is a source of fuel and oxidizer. When you smother a normal fire, fire with carbon dioxide, you're cutting off the air, and so the fire cannot um, continue burning because there's no oxygen. But with EV battery fires, the oxidizer is in the battery itself. Even cutting off the external oxygen supply, the, the fire will still burn. But the, basically, they just have to burn until they stop. There are ways of stopping them, I understand, but they are far more involved than just, you know, your regular fire. There have been stories about cargo ships catching fire um, that have been carrying um, EVs, uh, new EVs, to their destination. And if one catches fire, it can immediately spread. And, and some of these ships have almost been destroyed. Um, I'll put some links in the description to, to some of the articles about this. And so here's an article from um, Drive recently, uh, quite local at Sydney Airport. Electric car battery catches fire, sets four other vehicles alight at Sydney Airport. A fire sparked by a lithium-ion electric car battery that had been removed from an MG ZS electric vehicle has destroyed five cars in a holding yard near Sydney Airport, with investigation underway into what caused the blaze. In a media statement, Fire and Rescue New South Wales said firefighters were called to the blaze at a holding yard on Airport Drive in Mascot around 8.30 p.m. on Monday 11th of September 2023. While the lithium-ion battery which sparked the fire was from an MG ZS EV, it had recently been removed from the electric SUV after it was suspected to have been damaged. So as soon as you poke one of these batteries or you know you, you dent it or you crush it, there's potential for these things to catch fire. That's why airlines are so nervous about lithium-ion batteries in the cargo hold, you have to take them in your, your hand luggage because you know, if they get crushed, um, they can easily just catch fire. Both Fire Rescue New South Wales and the Avi Aviation Rescue Firefighting Service from nearby Sydney Airport worked to extinguish the blaze which burned hotter than a typical petrol fire due to the materials inside the lithium ion battery. Exactly. In addition to the MG, four petrol powered cars were destroyed by the fire. You know, so I would, I'd be advising people to not park near an EV. If you're going away for any length of time and you're parking in a long-term car park, don't park anywhere near an EV. Like, park as far away from them as possible. I mean, they're not just likely to spontaneously combust, but if one were to catch fire and your car was anywhere near it, it would be toast. So, you know, do yourself a favor, don't park anywhere near an EV. I think this is gonna be a big problem, I have to say. Um, there's so many problems with EVs and the, the danger, the, the, the risk from, from batteries is just, it's pretty significant, you know. If you've ever seen a lithium battery being punctured, it's a violent reaction because the, the chemicals in the, in the battery itself are self-sustaining for the for the fire and 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 you can't just put it out with water so yeah just another nail in the coffin of evs as far as i'm concerned i'm not going to be buying one anytime soon and and neither should you and um, don't park near one either all right that's it let me know in the comments what you think i'll see you in the next one bye for now